got my on Rick Ross So homie from around the way, remember him, Biggie He said shout him out if you ever made it to TV Die some months later, he ain't even get to so that is Happy Endings and it's from Kojo Q, his brand new project which is titled I'm Back and he's really back in the music scene. I mean, this is the second time I get to speak to him. It's so much, it's, it's been so much excitement meeting him again and also on the table of life. You should have seen, what, you should have heard what we were talking about. But then, I guess this afternoon is none other than Ghanaian hip hop, Afro pop artist, Ashanti region's very own. Let me emphasize on that. Kojo Q, he's been off the music scene for a long time, and then he's back, and he just didn't come back. He came back with a project, seventh track project, and I have listened to it. The features on it are amazing, and that particular project has been causing issues from last week between Strongman and Kweku Smoke. We'll talk about that, but then we'll talk about the fact that he was on BET Cypher. We'll talk about where he's been, and then we'll move into other plans, especially talk about I Am Back projects. Kojo Q, good afternoon and welcome uh, to Metro Television, a table of life. Super happy to be, like I love this table. Yes, I don't know why. Yes. Can I get like a permanent seat? Like? Oh, here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Maybe like over there so over nobody there. sees me, but I'm... Okay, yeah. okay. okay that's that. <laughs> but how are you doing? I'm okay. I'm, 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 I'm feeling great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel good. We will talk about where you've been and everything, but then I want to start from briefly take us through how the opportunity was presented for you to get onto BET Hip Hop International Cypher. Because yes. I've always wondered how the opportunity How comes. that happens. Yes, yeah. how does yeah. it happen? I, I don't know if that's how it usually happens, mm -hmm. but I got a call from uh, Liza, who's like the uh, uh, country manager at Boom Play. Okay. Yeah. I think I, I just put a video out and announced mm -hmm. that I was back. Mm -hmm. So I got a call from her that they had a like pretty tight mm -hmm. deadline, mm -hmm. three days to the thing. They had to deliver something. Mm -hmm. And was I up for it? And I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it, it just happened. It like just that. happened yeah. like that. And were you, like, were you ready, ready? I'm always ready. Oh, Ready. Yeah. Yes, that's, 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 that's the signature of a rapper. Yeah. They're always, always ready, ready. ready yeah. yeah. And but the kind of things that he talked about in the cypher, though, exactly. a lot of people were excited about it. That you 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 meet the government small for, for the yeah. I think it happened because of the. I like to talk about the times when mm. I when I make music, and it happened around the Occupy Jilobi mm -hmm. and everything that was so. I, I was just in that zone, and I mm -hmm. felt like. Since this is an international platform, an important platform, mm. I could share something like that so yeah. people also hear that. Oh, if you say, like, you really, they agree with what they did, or, like, sick of your app, so you I was there. Oh. You, no, I was you there. came I out? I was on a Saturday. Yeah. Oh, okay. On a Saturday? Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. I was okay. on a Saturday. So, okay. like, yeah. Oh, then like, you, they did inside proper. I'm yeah, one of so the young people, so at least I consider myself yeah, young. Okay, yeah, okay. So, uh, anything that affects the next person mm -hmm. affects me. Yeah. Even if it's not on the same degree as them, you understand. Yeah. Okay. Obi to mean talking, but Obi to mean talk digestive. Mm -hmm. Still no. Yeah. 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 So. I, and now I get it. I'm trying to. I get the side from my head. I get it. You're you're really part of it, so you're able to relate very yeah, very yeah. well. That's good. And you were on the sci-fi with Brian, Brian the yeah. mentor. I mean, um, what was your thought on the, let me say, the new school, the new uh, guys trying to do what most of you started now? What's like, your thought on them? Yeah, I love it so much. Um, it, it, it feels great to know that even if it's, it, it, it's a very small part that you played, mm -hmm. you played a part in making sure that the next generation of artists in this country yeah. uh, have it easier than you did. Yeah. You understand? Exactly. So it, it, it excites me all the time when I see them doing what they're doing. Especially like the, the new wave that's mm -hmm. coming from yeah. Kumasi. Kumasi, yes. That has dominated all yeah. the way to the Grammys. Yeah. Ah, I'm so proud of them, boys. Ronin Okay, <laughs> so we will talk about um, the album. But then on your track one, Mark Tonto, you said a lot of things. Like you actually summarized everything that people will be asking, hey, where have you been? What's happened with you and this? How mm -hmm. do you see the music scene? But then generally, where have you been? Like, you, you, you paused exits. Yeah. What caused the pause and the exits? Uh, I just needed to take some time off for myself, uh, personally, uh, mentally, and also even creatively, because sometimes it gets still after a while. 
so I just needed to take some time from mm -hmm. Kojo Q mm -hmm. and live as a human mm -hmm. to get experiences to make more music. Yeah. Yeah. So I was I was gone from the front, but I was still working in the back. Okay. End. Okay. Yeah, because okay. I'm super interested in. I've been interested in music business forever, and I believe one of my fights is to make sure that uh, before I leave here. That certain things that I'm, I have complained about mm -hmm. that the industry needs yeah. that I help in making sure mm -hmm. that they're there. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a, a company with a group of friends called Rain Labs, mm -hmm. and we are like a PR, music marketing and distribution company. Mm -hmm. So that I, I spent most of my time there, and also this other company called Music Split that yeah. uh, they started. And that's, that's how come you saw me at, uh, uh, what do they call it? The demo. No, no, no. The, uh, the event. Oh, Peter Martin. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, we, sure, sure. we were in, in charge of him coming okay, to okay. Ghana and everything. Okay. And I think before then, I had also done the Ludacris writing comp as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, I, just, I just took a backseat mm -hmm. to be human a bit yeah. before. And you say it's been worthwhile, no yeah, regrets. It's, it's, oh, it's been, especially like the, the social media break, peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> Peaceful. Really? Yeah, does it, like, does it come with a lot of stress? I mean, seeing the comments on social media, the trolling and sometimes some of the negative comments. You're they human. Get to you? Yeah, you're human. You understand? I think the, uh, the way humans evolved, in order for us to survive, our mind tunes more into negative energy than mm. positive energy. Mm. Because, Pushing. you know, yeah, when something negative is happening, it yeah. means that you have to protect yourself. True. Yeah. So if you come online and you see 3,000 people saying, oh, Kujoku is the best rapper ever, but you see one guy saying, this guy sucks, whether you like it or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you no matter how, how hard... It will you, get to you. Yeah, that's the one you. thing that you're going to pay attention to for a certain period. Like, oh, why yeah. is this guy saying that? Yeah. Before you catch mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah. yeah. So I, definitely. I mean, your um, feature with Kujoku, um Low Shaker, Pen yeah. and Paper... I think I would say is one of the best projects ever. And I thought you guys were going to be an item, that <laughs> you're going to be a, a group. Yeah. Because you did so well. It was beautiful. Even those that did not really like rap was all about it. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, so Shiga is my brother. I've known him for the longest. And I think the, the issue is me. I'm just not a... I'm not a group person, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really a group person. Okay. And and I also don't like to do things just because people expect that I do them. Mm. When we're making the first project, we're making it because we loved working together. Okay. Mm. But after the, after that one, then it became like, oh, you guys are so good. Do another one for yeah. us. So at some point, I felt like we were forcing it. You understand? So uh, it's my fault. It's all my fault. It's all your fault. Yeah. Well, you're very humble. <laughs> right. Humble. right? <laughs> and it's good that you know he acknowledged the fact that someone will not tell you that you'll say, oh, yeah. they'll blame someone else for that. But I mean, taking you back to social media, when people troll, or like you said, or people will say good stuff, but there's that one person that will say something that is not too good to hear. How are you able to take it? And how do you usually uh, re uh, react to such comments? Uh, people, people probably think that. <laughs> None of those comments affect me because I my reactions are always like, yeah. But it's because um, at the very beginning of my career, something happened that gave me perspective on why people do that. So I was I remember it was like maybe 2010 or 2011. I was promoting stuff on Facebook, and back then what you would do is you put it on people's walls. Yeah. Right. it's annoying, but yeah. you know you had to do you have to get attention somehow. Yeah. And I remember this girl sent me a long test about your music is trash and why are you didn't blah blah blah. Oh, wow. Yeah, and my first reaction was like, ah. I was like, hurt. <laughs> but then I was like, okay, maybe she has genuine, you know, criticism to give. So, okay. so I replied and I was like, oh, I thank you for taking the time out to even listen to see that it's trash. If there are any ways that I can improve it, just tell me so that I can work on it. And I'm sorry for bothering you. And oh. then she came back and she was like, Oh, it's not her. It was her kid brother who was using Shit. her account. And then, wow. Oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> so, like, from then, I realized that sometimes it's a grab for attention as well. Right. You understand? Sometimes yeah. they know that if they had just said, oh, could you kill your group? You probably won't pay attention yeah. to them. Yeah. This one. So, since then, I have just been... I don't tune too much into... Yeah. If, I, if I see something that's like, oh, this is constructive... Then maybe I'm like seeing, oh, mm -hmm. okay, this person yeah. has something to say. But if it's like just also, Charlie, no matter what you do, 
not everybody will like you. Yeah. That's, that's okay. so true. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But talk, then, talk, okay, come yeah. here. <laughs> I mean, your project uh, for my brothers. I would like to know why you wanted to re echo the struggles of the young uh, African man. Honestly, I was just making, I was just talking about my own struggle. Mm. I didn't know that. I should have known, but I didn't expect that it would resonate <laughs> with, with people that much. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I was just making for me and talking about my own struggle. I didn't think people would even like it that much. So, yeah. No, okay. no, and, and I mean, let me just go on the same for my, on behalf of all my brothers <laughs> on social media, Great. on who follow music, we want to thank you for that album. It's not just brothers, though. Like, I think, you know, the, there's a bit where they're like, my brothers, yeah. like it, it's, we all grew up in the same areas, yeah. we all had the same. Yeah. So it's not like it's a struggle <laughs> that's limited to just us. Oh, yeah, yeah. I received that, but yeah. I, you know. Oh, no, I, I get that. I mean, for the ladies, their show was even right. there. <laughs> the, 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 their show was down there on the, on the album. Oh, yeah. we had all the ladies all know we're talking about, you know, ladies' struggles and, and all of that. Yeah. But that album would go down as one of the most classics or classical albums we've had in this country. Appreciate that. And, and in particular, at VGMA, <laughs> everybody knew that yo if it's not about votes and technical stuff is what we are looking at for my brothers by Koji Q should have won the album of the year everybody was surprised that you did not mm. win it mm. were you how, how was it like how was your no 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 I, like I wasn't because I know what their definition of uh of uh, album of the year is by the definition of the award it's the album with the most hits mm -hmm. so automatically mm. you are not is that is that not but it's it's their award like we can we can have a discussion about it and get them to change it mm. but until then it's the award yeah that's just what it is so mm. yeah it's cool you enjoyed I, i'm sure writing the album because from track one to the last track you enjoyed i'm sure writing the album because from track one to the last track there's no track that you can skip Right, um, uh, workaholic. I was I was saying that yesterday because I ran out my breath. I said Monday work, <laughs> Monday to Sunday, and there's um, the one Papa Bumudia. Hmm? Did your uh, is, your father is alive? Yeah, my father is alive. So yeah. he's he he's heard that song. No, no, no. I, I don't think he's heard it. I don't think he <laughs> listens to my music. You didn't play it to him. No, 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 no. I don't think he listens to my music. Or maybe he does, but I don't. And also, we don't have. We are not super close, so okay. it's not like yeah. uh, oh, okay. we're yeah. okay. we yeah. we cool, but we're not like super close where I'm playing stuff for him. Yeah. Or anything. Yeah. That, that was a lot of lessons, that particular song. Charlie, as young boys, we do grow to come on. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but I, talking about right. Grammys, <laughs> I mean, we're in a Grammy era, yes. so yes. <laughs> and you mentioned I like about that, the Grammy <laughs> era. era. <laughs> and you, you mentioned about resources. Is it always about resources? Always. 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 So what if you have the resources and your work is not up to par? So it's almost impossible, unless you yourself get in your own way, mm. it's almost impossible to have resources and your work won't be up to par. Because let's take Beyonce, for example. When Beyonce makes an album, it's over 200 people that have written songs. Yeah. yeah. You understand? When Rihanna makes an album, it's over 200 people. Yeah. She has the resources to go get the best bass player in the world, mm -hmm. the best piano player in the world, mm -hmm. yeah. the best songwriter. There's no way she's coming out of that session mm -hmm. without good songs. What about, I mean, Ariana, Nicki Minaj? And yeah. This? It's, it's, they, may, but may, they've not gotten a Grammy, even though they have the resources, they yeah, have the hits but they, and all that. But, but they get... No, They've been nominated like multiple yeah. times. No, no, Rihanna has, yeah. but Nikki hasn't. It was just the recent, recent one. Yeah. Yes. But she's been, like, she's yes. been nominated, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, so um, I, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, it's beyond, if you have resources, you mm. have a better chance than if you just have okay. talent. Yeah. And in Ghana, do you think we, we are at a point where we'll get the resources? Because... Even corporates, Ghana, do not even want to invest in our music industry. Government doesn't invest. So where is the resource going to yeah, come well, from? It's a fight. And then that means we, we have a long way to <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah, it's a fight and then we have to. Like, whether, if you, whether you fight or not, mm -hmm. it's, the journey is still going to be like the mm -hmm. same. Yeah. If you leave it today, 
and you don't plant that tree, someone will have to come and plant it, and then you set them back because something you could have done. Yeah. So we, we just have to keep on uh, fighting our way through yeah. it. Yeah. But, okay, but should it always be the Grammy, though, <laughs> lastly? Should it always be? Because I feel like it's validation. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Grammy is Grammy, but it's like we... We want validation. I think the, the way you get Grammy nomination, then it means you've arrived. <laughs> I think the that was created by the fans mm. and the media. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because like, I don't think uh, five years ago anybody was pressed about Grammys mm. in Ghana. Mm. But it was BET. Yeah, it was BET or whatever. Yeah. But the the fans and the media, and also especially since the Nigerians are moving so fast, mm -hmm. yeah. and we've always had the Sibling rivalry yeah. thing going on. <laughs> yeah. So everybody is now kind of fixated on yeah. the Grammys and selling out go oh, to. Oh, yeah. 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 Sure. Right. I, I even think I, that um, right. even mm -hmm. before the mm -hmm. whole Grammy stuff, even mm -hmm. when the likes of um, Angela Kijo, mm -hmm. the Hulus were winning, we were not really paying attention. But then it seems now, because of the Nigerian top artists are like going hand in hand with ours, yeah. so it's like it has it to true. be like that sort of a big deal. But Helen, you asked your question because mine is right. we are talking now. We talk about right. the new uh, right. project. Right. All right. So, so I will talk. Uh, about still his genre, you know, this Mr. Logic recently talking about how reggae music is not appreciated, media is not helping. What do you think about the rap genre? Is it been appreciated? Is the media supporting you at the moment? How is it like? Yeah, yeah I think I think we're we're. I mean, Asaka is rap, yeah. and Asaka is like one of the biggest currently, right? Yeah, yeah if yeah. you look at all the uh, charts and everything, I think Ghanaians, Ghanaians love rap. It's just that you have to, because our biggest our biggest artist, arguably, is still a rapper. A rapper. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you take, honestly, if you yeah. take top 10 Ghanaian sure. artists, you're going to have at least five or six of them that have rap backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, because yes, you talk about medical, yeah. you talk about maybe Kwesi. Yeah, you, you know, manifest. You manifest. Like you're, yeah, you are going to have that Joey B. So, um, I believe that it's not necessarily that people do not like rap. Um, I, I always blame myself before I blame the people that are listening. Because if, if I want to tell you something and you are wise enough to understand what she wants to tell you, but when I tell you, you don't understand it, it means that the way that I'm communicating it, maybe I need to figure yeah. it out. Mm. Yeah. So I just, I just believe that maybe... Most, most, more. We'll figure out how best to communicate to our people that they are going to get it. Yeah. Awesome. And on the back of what Helen asked, I'm so glad. Did did you let people in on the project that you have right now? Did you let people listen to it, like stakeholders, some producers, some friends, before actually putting it together? To this is the this is actually the first project I have done that I have done now with. You have. I, that I have, like, let other people listen, listen to okay, and okay. for their opinion. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I, so what was their opinion? What were their opinion? Um, they liked it. Mm -hmm. They liked it. Mm -hmm. um, nobody, nobody complained about anything. Yeah. Um, the, it, it was like maybe a bunch of songs, and then they, they helped me pick the seven. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's, that was really it. It wasn't <laughs> any... You need to make this. Mm -hmm. Okay. But also, I think it's because they came understanding what I was trying to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think is one of the songs you're talking about, technical stuff. I think about like rap, water in, water, watering it down mm -hmm. so that people could understand what you've been saying. I mean, everybody rates you as one of our best rappers because the flow and the kind of words that yeah. you're using there. But to cut across more, even after for my brothers, and now every, everybody loved it. Were you, this project, did you sit down and say that, make a lower my vocabs? <laughs> and it is so. Oh, no, 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 not really. Um, this, this project, for because I've been gone for a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because I've been gone for a bit, it's, it was more important to me that I reactivate my core. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Above everything else. So this project is not necessarily a grab at the wider market, mm. but just for the, the people that have always supported me to, yeah. to feel like, yeah, he's oh, back, okay. to give me that support, mm. and I build on that for the next project. For the, the next, next project. project. Yeah, so I wasn't really thinking yeah. okay. like that. Okay. Yeah. So for a comeback, you were 
thinking of your fans more yeah. than the other yeah like than the than the larger, well, larger okay. market sometimes in in trying to when you shoot for the larger market mm -hmm. and you you don't hit the mark yeah mm -hmm. But it is something that your your core don't like, <laughs> then you lose. Yeah. You, you lose you the core. Yeah. yeah. So you have to make sure that they understand that. Oh, so when you do that, they know that. Oh, he just did this for us, yeah. and he's gone here for a bit. Okay. So yeah. yeah. So there's Maktonto, there's Samway, hmm? there's Free Throw, there's Thirty Two, and there's Happy Endings, and there's two in between. Oh yeah. Okay. And I think CD. CD. Kasa, CD. Yeah. yeah. Like. I love I love rap. I love rap albums. Ah, uh, this year medical was here. I was telling him that planning and plotting. Check 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 check. But this is strictly like hip hop. Rap, yeah. yeah, it's just rap 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 rap. And I really appreciate the fact that at a time where music has evolved, there are so many sounds. People believe that most people have been sort of like conditioned to love Afro beats, Afro days. But then you've come in with this project for someone who really understand what you do very well how well even though you feel that your your fans should be the one it mm. should resonate more with how do you want the the new generation i mean there are some gen z's who don't really yeah. know kojo no kyo kojo like kyo. how yeah. we we know kojo kyo mm -hmm. like kojo kyo joy b mm. there's uh, shaker mm -hmm. there's another one i, I keep forgetting brack 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 mm -hmm. for someone who for someone who doesn't really understand like the kojo kyo type how do you want this album to resonate with them how do you want them to relate with it uh that's why i i i, I also in essence had people that they can resonate with okay the features like, okay you know okay. in the future yeah. so that there's a, actually a connection in mm -hmm. there. So, oh if this guy is working with this guy then yeah. let me listen and let yeah. me see what i can find there but i am um, i never lie to myself to try and make things that everybody is supposed to like because okay, i don't think okay. that's even possible, possible okay. yeah. you know the best watcher you've ever had in your life somebody thinks it's terrible terrible and then and, and they are not lying though. yeah, you know, sure, so, yeah sure. that's just how they feel yeah. about it so for me it's important first of all that i make music that i like mm -hmm. Music that I will listen to. Yeah. And then from there, figure out how you're going to translate it to. With the understanding that it might not translate to everybody. But then if you have something that you... you if now I pay attention to the trends and I pay attention to what they like, and I decide to do something that they like, yeah. then I can have more control over that one. It's and I know that with that one too, I know that people that are like me may not like it as much yeah. yeah that's that's good and you know let me just chip this in um at some point we used to call like the people let's say industry stakeholders used to call some section of like artists who are more of like the rap flow hip-hop mm -hmm. hip life as the new school yes and even in your mark tonto mm -hmm. yeah. you even referred to the fact that oh some people were called this 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 you see it was to make us understand that these generation or these artists like yourself, Joey, Papi, Shaker, were going to continue what was done previously. Mm -hmm. But now there have been different sounds that have taken over. Do you feel that whole rap, hip-hop hip agenda has failed? Do you feel that Ghanaians are sort of like um, being, like, liking, liking some, something else? Than what than, is what, yeah, what we are rooted for. The music is for the people at the end of the day. So, if they have decided that they don't like something anymore, and something else serves them, mm -hmm. like who are but you? But doesn't it hurt us? Oh, uh, not really. I mean, when hip life came, uh, the high lifers complained. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. what is this? And they are yeah. 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 But yeah. it served that generation. Yeah. It served my generation. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Right. Now it's time for whatever type of music there is to serve mm -hmm. the next generation. Why do I want to get in the way of that? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. The music is for the people. Yeah. Whatever they enjoy, mm -hmm. let them enjoy. And I believe that it doesn't matter what it is that you do, there's always a market for it. Yeah. And there's always a way to monetize it. Yeah. You understand? And because of the internet, because of streaming services, you are not even, no, you are no longer a Ghanaian artist, you're a global artist. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? You are you are global. You can you can have something on Spotify uh, on TikTok and become the biggest artist in Sierra Leone, and you don't even know it. 
Yeah, mm. I know, right? You understand? Yeah. So, like, don't box yourself in and try to step in front of other people that are enjoying their time. You had your time. Yeah. yeah. I, I want you to share what you said to this one about the fact that this whole project, you coming back, is that of, like, MG. Mm -hmm. So that when someone... For some of us, we understand what you we were trying to communicate mm -hmm. because MJ, MBA left and to do other things. And then he came back, was like, at that time, we, I don't know how to describe that peak of his career. How do you want people to understand the two with I'm back and also the whole MJ's? Because you keep having MJ's voice on oh, almost like all, all, yeah, all, the, all the songs. Yeah, all the songs. Yeah, so um, it's just me saying, um, uh, claiming greatness for myself because Michael Jordan is yeah. obviously the greatest of all. Yeah, greatest of all. Yeah. So I'm just saying, like, I am back and I, am, I went away just like he did, and I'm back in the same way. Okay. Uh, hopefully to achieve in the same way that he achieved once he, okay. once he got back. Yeah. Let's, let's get into your creative process because that's, that's what everybody likes your pen game. Yeah. yeah. The, the pen game uh, is dope. <laughs> how, do you rate, like, you, you rate your body, like, you sit down and say, yo, Bro, you can rap. <laughs> Sometimes it hits you. Okay. Yeah. Which, which, which one of your projects did you listen to? Like, telling me today, hey, I'm good. <laughs> no, like, even, even like normal stuff. Like, sometimes it'll, out of nowhere, you hear something that you, because when you're that close to it, you are more critical than most people. Because mm. you, you when, when I'm hearing myself, I'm hearing, ah, oh, this place, I wish I had done it like that. This place, I wish I. People are just hearing it like and enjoying it, but you are hearing all the mistakes that you, you think right. you made. Yeah. But sometimes out of nowhere, you hear something and like, oh, I'm actually like really nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it happens, yeah. Uh, where do you put yourself in the pedestal? In the, in the, um, in the if any rapper if any rapper doesn't put themselves at number one, they have to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Like in rap you are not allowed to be anything but number one. But why is that? Because usually that's it. Why is that? Yeah. Because that's, obviously that's, you know that, oh, somebody is probably better than I am, but we don't see that. So, so all the other things that are supposed to make people better than you, yeah. that you can't do anything about, mm. are usually extra things like, oh, how many awards he's won, or oh, how many people like his music, how many hits he have. That one is different. In hip-hop, you are supposed to feel like you're the best because... For true hip hopers, it's, it's about the skill. Mm -hmm. And the skill is something that you can polish until you are the best. So if you don't think you are the best, then it means you have work to do. And you have to work on it until you, whoever they put you in front of. Yeah. You see, <laughs> how do you get this? Like, my best friend has sent this stuff, it's funny. But then, do you get the fact that people always feel like, I wrap a pan or shake glasses. <laughs> my, yeah, my, my, yes, my best friend is always like, he doesn't understand why. Like, the guy is good, but, no, but you know, I don't believe, I believe that. that. Those that wear glasses <laughs> are nets. So maybe, yeah. But he's a net. Like, have you heard, uh, ever heard it before? That, no, I, I, I that's your first time. You hear it? Yeah, you see? Wrap a pan or shake glasses. And then, like, it, 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 it's funny because for maybe the first five years of my career yes I wasn't you did glasses. it yeah mm. right. mm. i'm wearing glasses because my eyes are bad yeah. That's oh, what, no. you understand maybe they're looking for the gold chains and the uh, yes. <laughs> oh, but I, I have i have never okay i was maybe in ss mm. but i'm not i like to be comfortable yeah. yeah you understand and like even these things that i'm wearing as soon as i leave here because it's you like take them off. it's yeah. heavy ah. yeah. Yeah. I, I was going to say that yeah. you're like the Very nice serious. nice gentleman rapper <laughs> but in this past week, mm -hmm. you make some people <laughs> cross covers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that person, yeah, that I person. know, but Kojo, have you made money? Have you yeah, made have. money from music? Yeah, I have. I have made money from for the let's say for the first six years, no. Mm. But since then, yeah, I have good money. Yeah, but. You could always make more because so you can, you can you just yeah. thousand yeah. thousand. thousand. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I, I actually can, but will I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, for artists, for artists who go and come back. Oh, you guys wait. Oh, <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait. They, they, they always go and learn about the business. Creamy came here. Yes. And yes. Yes. Learn about the business, yes. Yes. and yes. I think I like that. Yes. That we yeah. un we understand. We're getting to that point that we understand that more. Mm -hmm. But you talk to strong or oh, smoke after. Um, after the yeah, after yeah the I've, I've, I think I've spoken to Smoke rather. It be serious yeah. thing or you be joking? Any joke? No, no, they are not joking. Like they, are, they but have, but they you have know, issues before. You see, 
Do you, wow. Did you realize it was going to be like this, or you took one after the feature, then you had to let one come in? So, I already had a feature with Strong Man for uh -huh. this project, and I wanted Smoke on the song. Mm -hmm. And that's the verse that he sent back. Ooh. Now, um, it's hip hop. Yeah. So it's allowed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only problem was that Strong is also on the project. Oh. And I have. Uh, I have a relationship with Strongman's team. Like okay, his manager is okay, like one of okay, my best friends. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not something that I could just like mm -hmm. let him hear on the day off. Yeah. So I told Smoke, bro, this is the situation. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to keep it, I'll have to let him know that exactly, this is happening. Exactly. And he's like, oh, he already knows that I have a relationship with yeah. them. So he did it because he knows they'll hear. It. Oh, okay. So that's like, ah, so cool. That was it, yeah. So yeah. That's not before we go. Any plans December? Yes. Okay. Um, 9th December. The For My Brothers concert. Okay. Yep. Uh, uh, it's happening at the UK Foundation. Okay. Our tickets are out already. Okay. Uh, if you follow me on social media. You'll get every day. Yeah. Yeah. Come to the Night as Jam. Thank you very much. We will be there. Oh, for Rabbit, no, no, we'll I'll be there. Be there. Oh, for <laughs>